and and welcome back YouTube uh, I was not completely sure whether or not the recording started so uh, but it did so happy times and let's unpause the battle that we were in well here comes the Air Force uh, the Air Force the airfield oh there is actually a plane in here oh that's that's so neat yay and our ships are actually behaving kind of smart. They are avoiding the islands. That's uh, that's a surprise of the different kind. Of the pleasant kind, because you know usually you get a surprise of the unpleasant kind, aka driving straight into an island, ending three quarters of a mile into on land, and just you know uh, trying to figure out how the heck does this compute? It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, sure, your ship is doing 20 meters a second, but still, it's climbed the Mount Everest. <sighs> and you just, like, don't understand. Mm. Even with the low gravity of this, of the nether planet. Okay, we're gonna have to take uh, an exclusive, uh, we're gonna just, yeah. You, you're going on to land, and um, that we already know, it's not a good thing. Ships on land do not do very well, unfortunately. <clears throat> but okay. Uh, it still has the arc to shoot over. Yes. <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> oh, okay. AI that. That's uh, nice. Two. Seconds and all right, it's gone. It's gonna despawn now. And we're gonna have the airports now as well. Well, the airports, uh, aircrafts that should have spawned in, but then due to block volume limit thingy. Ah, oh, yes. This pretty much comes down to just shooting them down. And I could actually just pull the vehicle 25 out of the game at this point. I mean, there is very little of anything it can do against the Air Force aircraft things. I mean, it does have missiles, it does have secondaries, those things can shoot up like that. But its primary firepower just completely useless in this case. Yeah. Even though it's still. I think it, it's doing just fine, even with the bunkers like this. Ah. It does have laser munition defense, so any missiles that these things are firing are not, not gonna reach it. Bombs would reach it. Oh no, uh, oh that, that, this may actually end up pretty ugly, as um, this thing is a bomber. <laughs> It's actually a pretty tough bomber as well. <laughs> oh. Please get killed before you manage to turn around. Oh, AI yeah, that, yes. <laughs> oh. the, these things also get in like uh, in a fleet. They have their own, they're like seven or eight of them. Oh, you, you curse so badly when, when that happens. Because they drop they drop bombs, they don't drop uh, missiles. And unlike missiles that have active propulsion, bombs do not have active propulsion and that result laser munition does not target that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there is currently no protection against bombs, but at the same time, well, they need to get in range to drop bombs and just did not happen and your spirit as well it's the last plane to spawn into the game come on oh yes it's one of these yet again so well gladly you're turning the other way around and you're getting hit by the MP so that pretty much guarantees you you will never be able to turn the other way 
because you only have your propulsion on one side of the plane left so you're just gonna get shot to that yeah you need to say that not much you can do against the glory of the EMP particle cannons <laughs> And we got the we got two extra vehicles to turn into the game. That's nice. And it's it's spawning. Hooray! Another glorious victory. Battle finished. All right, pull. All. And I'm speed. Alright, we we Flip put it in. You know what? You Move go down. and escort this because I'm kinda of afraid of Moving leaving down. them all, all alone. Receiving. Moving now. Even those, give me a second, I'm gonna I think I'll retro pit you. Uh yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, where are you? Okay, here you are. We could do it too. It's actually cheaper. Really? Cheaper? I'm not completely sure about that one. I was pretty sure it was actually more expensive, but. Receiving. Sank cheaper Moving over there. Damascus and subaquatic. I don't know what the subaquatic is, but I'm Moving kind of afraid it might be a. Listening. Moving out. Moving out. A underwater. It's friendly. Okay. Receiving. And I'm afraid of that because the vehicle party doesn't actually have anything going against that. Vehicle H. Vehicle pattern. Yeah, you you. Moving now. You two need to get him there, because you, you're the fuel production. Alright. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got attacked here. Listening. Um, that is friendly fleet, yes. Mm, I don't think we're gonna need that. Oops. Up to this pose and begin battle. Even though this is uh, yet another battle against the against the apples. Oh, come on. oh yeah, and the vehicle thirty two compared to the vehicle thirty, there is only there are minor differences between them. Um, the main difference being in the engine. Not only in the power of the engine, but also how the engines are actually placed um, into the ship. The vehicle 32 does have more of an external exhaust as well. Oh, there are, there are plenty of raptors. They're just apparently a raptor force. Oh, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> All I can say about this. Oh, yeah. The reason why I went through with the external exhaust is, well, it's several levels. Uh, you know, it, it, the engines are here quite different actually. They are inline engines, they are like long engines going through the most of the ship. While previously it had like eight separate engines, which did provide slightly less power, but um, were separated and as the end result they were actually protected against a lot of stuff. But at the same time, because they were not vented and uh, because of their well, the way that they were designed, they actually were we'll losing something like 10,000 power every single time that the shields come on. And, uh, well, this ship is the way to address the issue. It has longer inline engines that are externally vented, and uh, as the end result, more of the power is preserved across the battle, and we have some extra spare power there, even though we don't really need it all that much. Yay. Yeah. 
And well, we're killing one raptor after another. Well, this is not a raptor, this is something else. Well, it's only the vehicle 32, it's actually in the game. Of course, there are some other other differences. There is uh, more surge protectors on board this vessel, uh, some added defenses here and there. I initially thought also of upgrading the laser munition defense system because you kind of get extra space in the ship when, when I move the engines around, but it turned out that, well, it's not really necessary and and it wouldn't be that much of an improvement, either way. Alright. Well, that's a blow-up right there. I mean, a direct hit like that. But look at the amount of missiles these things are throwing at us. Yeah. And vehicle 30, or now vehicle 32, is kinda taking it and... Losing its health slowly but steadily, uh, very slowly, uh, but it's also repairing itself, so it's not that that much of a big of a deal. Out of the repairs uh, on the vehicle 30s and well, also on the vehicle 32, are actually internal, not external, so. You won't see a lot of bots running around, but every single compartment does have a couple of repair bots in there. So it does repair, even though it's not really that much visible. On the outside it only has like... It's back here? Yeah, it has those uh, 16 of them. And a couple of them right here at the front as well. Yay, so... Yeah, but in fact it does have much, much uh, stronger repairs. Oh yeah, one more thing that I actually added was this rudder at the back, making the ship turn just slightly bit better. And kablink, we, we're killing things left and right. I mean, this, this aircraft, as soon as they get hit by those bigger guns, they just blow up to pieces and... I mean, you may there might be a, a number of them, but... They would literally have to spawn every single thing. I mean, the first couple of volleys of missiles that they have done were relatively dangerous, but... At this point, there are just not enough missiles in the air to affect us anymore. Ah, such a shame. Okay. You? Dying? Alright. Well... That guy is getting most definitely hit by the laser. And the secondaries and the missiles are going... Yeah. I don't think it's gonna survive for long. And we got one of our airships. Did we get... Uh, yeah, we got the airship into the game. So, uh, this is gonna get even easier now. Oh, or maybe worse. Oh, holy crap, the vehicle, the airship took literally a full front straight from those 450mm guns. I'm surprised that it's still left in one piece. I really am. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, we didn't really hit it all that badly. We just kind of scraped it there at the back end. Holy! But that was like a massive, massive. Oh, I, I was. We lost a couple of percentage, but oh, apparently it was not a direct hit there. If that would actually be like full front, the airship would no longer be in the air. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, so that very, very, very close one. Oh. Well, yeah, you're gonna get hit. Oh. 
Well, yeah, the back end gone, but the rest of the plane is still there, and as the end result, we're still gonna get shot by godzillion million missiles of that doom and destruction. Even though the, I mean. Once upon a time, it was the guns on this aircraft that were the dangerous part, not that much their missiles. Um, but now it's, well, it's the missiles that are a bit more dangerous, I suppose. As their guns don't are not that effective. I mean, they are high speed, high velocity guns. Um, once they, the shielding was remade to what it is now, pretty much. Uh, they lost a lot of their power that they had. All right, that there is one more coming down. We're gonna shoot him as well. Oh, missed. Oh. I don't even consider the second that it's hitting as a scare and a hit. <laughs> it's the primaries that matter. They are doing most of the work here. Even against aircrafts. And well, this one is spiking due to all the damage it took from the secondaries because our primaries missed pretty much every single salvo they fired. Well, you're hitting now. And both of our airships are in the game. Alright. There are more aircrafts. Yay! You get shot to that, please. Uh, I think it's gonna be the laser that's gonna be doing damage here, yeah. Yes, it did. And the particle cannons. <laughs> the missiles can't hit something like this. I, I don't think they will. I mean. It, it would be more of a fluke than anything else that if they would hit. But this one is on the evasive maneuver 101. I mean, it's not even attacking or anything. It just. I don't think it even lost its controls. It's just doing this very erratic moment of, of glory. Ah! Missiles actually hit. Good job, missiles. And what's there? Something that is in the water, and it's that. <laughs> Didn't even see what it was. It just it just died. Um, so yeah, too damaged. All right, uh, let me know if this spawn you with F11. I feel that one is very, very nice to have. All right. We didn't really took much of any damage. No. Yay. We slightly. Huh. It's slightly nosing upward. The entire ship is nothing. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I'm mm, gonna have to check it for next time, but not right now. As it's still working, and I don't know, I fixed something that works. We'll have to fix, check it out later. And you as well. Ah, uh, yes, something like this. And we're gonna go back to the vehicle 25. Alright. Battle begin. Yes, please. Well, we have three vehicles in the game. Ooh! What the hell were you doing so high in the air? Okay, you combat.
oh this you airship are are in in moving just in such a position that that it's a good chance you're gonna get hit by a cram cannon which would be very 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 unfortunate uh, we're kind of low on fuel though I mean we still have fuel a lot of it but yeah not not having our uh, fuel production ship with us did kind of hurt all right you aiming at things you hitting things yes we are hitting things uh, coal factory oh well, this is interesting design actually I might I might actually use something like this on a ship I, or on an airship even though this back section here is kind of Pointless. Okay, let's go back in. Can we see whether or not we're moving toward this target as we can have to? As we want to shoot our cram cannons over there. Yeah, the cramps just cannot fire here. Just too far away. Even though they are raising up, they're just constantly losing the market this distance. I seriously love the crown cannons to fire actually, because uh, this this is the type of position where they would do the most good. Stationary targets and stuff. Crown cannons do well against those. Fast moving targets, crown cannons don't do well against those at all. Well. But the vehicle 13 is, is in range, it's shooting. Yeah, kind of missing as well. How far away are we? Ooh, near four kilometer distance. No way. This this is just too far away from from. Ugh. We're just not gonna hit crap, will we? Uh, kind of hope that the C thingy will spawn in first, but it did not. It was this, so. Hmm. Uh, this thing is getting killed. Oh, did the cram cannon fire? Yes, that's the cram cannon shells, but they are way too short. Yeah, that just um, that just not something you would. Uh... Okay, it's a um, bit longer range. Well, it's still two and a half kilometers away, so. And oh, just by a tiny, tiny bit. Oh, and and a big miss there. Okay, we there is one I uh, that that's good. Hopefully we will not hit the shore there. Okay. More crank cannon shells, will they hit this time around? Will they hit anything at all? And no. <laughs> of course not. Hitting is a sin. Where is our airship? Oh, it's over, way over there. Well, you, you're shooting at the wrong stuff, I, I see. Well, it seems. Just shooting at stuff that hasn't even spawned into the game there. Oh, the Liberator Cannon. What is this thing? It looks like crams? Yes, it's crams. And it, it's a cram that apparently most likely cannot see us. I mean, it does have detection here. But I'm not sure whether or not 
they are like 100% workable. And oh my god, airship that was just so close. Whew. All right. Yeah, oh, well, our cramps are firing just fine, and I have absolute no idea what you guys are shooting at. Really, none. I mean, <sighs> is it really that hard to hit this thing? It's... All right, much better now. Even though I must say it didn't do all that much damage well it's kind of three block stick so and these shells do not have a large amount of penetration something over 20 or something like that I know I set them up to something and about that and I think that uh, yeah the vehicle 13 is becoming a land hog so all right should we go and dislodge it? Because I still think that it has some parts of propulsion in the water. Actually, it has most of its propulsion in the water. It should be able to sail away if it just turns. Well, it's too damaged. I think it's too damaged. Oh, the liberative cannon. It's too damaged. And yeah, it's gonna start despawning very quickly. Alright. Oh, finally! It it just it it managed to hit it just when when it despawned. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I think we're gonna have to start reversing here because not even cramps have an angle like this. Allow them to shoot straight up that side. Uh oh. I, I was switching keyboards and um, my buttons are gone. Well, buttons. They are. Um... Yeah, you turn. You turn backwards. Like that. And then we're gonna jump on the vehicle 13 and try to turn it on as well. Well, the coal factory now has spawned in. Alright. Kind of turned already. You're just being silly here. Oh my god. <laughs> Rolling into the water. Well, I haven't really taken much of any damage here. And you are managing to correct yourself. Damn B, you're actually, with all your dippiness, you actually work just fine out. And you are super silly. Okay, let's pull Fletch, turn around. Oh my god. ships shooting each other like this, not the best idea. Okay, this should be good enough. Well, we are getting more of our ships into the game. Well, there is something that's already too damaged there, but I missed it because AI. <laughs> Alright. Well, I Will I have to cut this video up as well? I don't think I will. I mean... Yeah, no, no, we're gonna finish this one Oops, quick enough. Alright. This, this should not take us that long. I mean... It's, it's, it's a standing tower in the water. It, it should... Yeah, too damaged. Alright. 
And that is a 30 minute mark. Yay. Six pipe. And you die, come on. Alright. And here it comes, the last of the... These are like, like individual towers here. And each of them has like a shield and a couple of collectors or gatherers that are actually underwater and as a result non-functioning. Kind of an interesting concept, just have like a self-standing um, gun placement that resupplies itself. I kinda get it why you would want to build something like this, on the other hand I kinda don't get it because uh, in this game there is also something called volume count, so no matter how many of these would you put in, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, but this is the end of this episode, pretty much. So yeah, um, I'm gonna finish up the recording. See ya!